morning, Trailblazers. Today is Thursday, April 20th. I'm your anchor, William. Please stand for the pledges and the moment of silence. Please stand for the pledges and the moment of silence. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for the Texas Pledge. On the Texas flag, I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state under God, one indivisible. And now for the moments of silence. Please be seated. Today the lunch choices are Choice one, beef nachos. Choice two, pimento cheese sandwich. Choice three, vegetable Baja salad with roll. There is no school for students tomorrow. Teachers are working though. See you back at school on Monday. Some of our families are celebrating um, Ed. This weekend it is, or Eid. This weekend it is end of Ramadan, Eid Mubarak. To all of those who celebrate. Next Tuesday is Bus Driver Appreciation Day. How can you show your appreciation? On Wednesday, our TAG students in third through fifth grade will be sharing their independent study projects at McNeil High School from six to seven. Come support them that evening or ask them to share your projects with you in your class. On Tuesday, fifth graders are taking the Science Star. Good luck, fifth graders. Mr. Alvarez is doing inventory for the Chromebooks. Students should leave their Chromebook and charger in, in their classroom until after he finishes counting all devices. This could take up to three weeks. We are excited to bring back STEAM challenges. We will share more details about each challenge and how to get support with materials. But for now, let's take a look at this video from our student council to find, what out, to find out more. Here. Hello Trailblazers, this is Jack speaking from Student Council, or STUCO for short. We are here to talk about STEAM challenges. STEAM challenges are completely optional, you do not have to do them. Okay, so there are three options that you can do at any location. On your own, or with your class, or with Ms. Wright or Ms. Lightfoot and the student council members. So here are the challenges that we're going to start. Um, Number one is going to be making, making music. music. Create an instrument that you can play. Here, Here are the materials, materials required. Number two is going to be rocket to the moon. Create a paper rocket that will fly without being touched. Here are the materials required to make it. And number three is going to be stay afloat. Here are the materials you'll need. The challenge is create a device to help an action figure float. Here are the materials you'll need for this challenge. But last but not least, earthquake as challenge number four. Create a tall building. It should not fall down during an earthquake when you drop a heavy book beside it. Here are the materials required. There will be a Google form for materials, and you can either fill it on paper and give it to Ms. Lifa, or you can do it digital on the library website. After it's made, send a photo to Ms. Wright or Ms. Lifa. Go, Go Trailblazers! See you later! Bye! That's all the news we got for you today at the JLJ TV News Desk. Remember, Trailblazers, be safe, be respectful, and be responsible. And have a thoughtful Thursday. Bye.